Today I'm going to tell a story. I'm going to tell a story that my uh, my mother, my father told me when I was a little boy, and I really enjoyed it. It involves Nan Nanabush. One day, Nanabush, he was walking along in the forest, just minding his own business, and as he was rounding a little corner, he seen something that he, he couldn't be he couldn't believe. Something so strange. As he walked closer, he started noticing these little eyeballs popping up and down. Yeah, like that. They were popping up and down, just like little popcorn. And he decided to go look closer. And he snuck up close, and guess what he saw? What? He them. saw these little chickadees, these little birds. They were all taking out their eyeballs and they were throwing them up way up into the air. And every time they threw them up, they pop right back into their eyes. Like that. Yeah, it's just like pop, 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 all over here. And he goes, oh, that looks like fun. So he decided to go and ask the chickadees if he could play with them. But as soon as those chickadees seen them, seen him, they flew away. They flew far away. But, but Nanabush followed them, and he ran. And sure enough, again, as he rounded a little bush, he seen the little eyeballs popping up and down again. And But this time, the chickadees were tired. They didn't want to fly anymore. So one of them said, What do you want, Wisak Nanabush? What do you want? And then Nanabush said, I want to play with you guys. I want to do what you guys are doing. And the little chickadee said, Nana Bush, this is not, this is not, we're not playing around. This is serious business that we're doing. What we do is, what you saw what we're doing is we take our eyeballs out and we throw them up in the air when we have headaches. And after a couple times, our headaches are gone. Nana Bush said, really? Yeah, we don't, we, it's not for fun. You can't just do it any time. Then all of a sudden, Nanabush grabbed his head and he said, Oh, my head! I have a headache! And the chickadees looked at him and said, He doesn't have a headache. He's just playing around. He just wants to play around. But sure enough, Nanabush grabbed his head again. Oh, my head! It really, really hurts. And he started crying and rolling around on the ground. And the chickadees felt sorry for him. He said, Okay, let's show him. So they said, come here. So Nanabush came crying. And the chickadee said, you take one of your fingers, you put it in there, and you pop your eye out. And then you do the same with the other. And then you throw them up, and right back into your eyes. And Nanabush was kind of scared, but he, he tried it. So he took his finger, and he took out one of his eyes, and he took out another eye. And he had his eyeballs in his hand now. And he threw them up. And right back into his eyes. He says, wow, that was fun. I feel better, he said. And then he started taking his eyeballs out and threw them higher and higher into the air. And like that. And then the chickadees were, were, were kind of scared because he, Nanabush was throwing his eyes up too high. He said, Nanabush, don't do that. Don't throw them up too high. Especially around the pine trees back here. There was a bunch of pine trees. The Nanabush wasn't watching where he was throwing his eyes. And he started having fun with it. And he'd throw his eyes up and he'd do one circle and right back into his eyeballs. And then he'd take his eyeballs and he threw them against some rocks and, and right back into his eyes. And the chickadees were saying, we shouldn't have showed him that trick. Or that gift. We shouldn't have showed him. He's, he's using it as a trick now. And Nanabush wasn't watching where he was going. And he threw his eyeballs way up into the air. And guess what? What? It hit the pine tree. His eyes are way up in the pine tree up there. And oh. now he had no eyeballs. What? So he decided to start crawling around on the ground to look for his eyeballs. Then all of a sudden, the fox comes running by. And the fox seen 
banana bush on the ground. And the fox had an idea. He was going to play a trick on him. So what the fox did was he went and got a real long pointy stick. Real pointy. And he went right in front of Nana Bush as Nana Bush was crawling, looking for his eyes. And boom! He caught Nana Bush right into the eye. And he pulled out the stick, and a little bit of blood came gushing out. And then Nana Bush said, Oh, there's too much branches around here. I better watch where I'm crawling. And then the fox went around again with his stick. And sure enough, right in front of him again, and boom, right, right into the other eyeball. And he pulled the stick out. Again, blood come rushing out. Isn't that gross? The Nana Bush was just saying, Oh, my eyes, I better watch where I'm crawling. There seems to be a lot of sticks around here. And then he found something round and warm. And he put it in his eyeballs. And he it, opened his eyes. It was moose poop. Yes, it was moose poop. And he and the chickadees started laughing at him. And he could hear them. And he took out the moose poop. And then he had an idea. He started looking around for some trees. And at that time, Nanabush could talk to all the plants and all the animals too. He was looking for a spruce tree. And he was crawling and he seen a tree. He felt a tree and he said, Younger brother, what kind of tree are you? And the, and the tree said, I'm a birch tree. And he started looking around and found another tree. Little brother, what kind of tree are you? And the tree said, I'm a maple tree. Oh, okay. And he started crawling around. He was about to give up. He was crawling and he ran into a tree. And he said, little brother, what kind of tree are you? And the tree said, I'm a spruce tree. Oh, you're what I'm looking for, he said. And on spruce trees, there's usually this gum, the sap on a tree. It's like glue. And it come rolling down and Nanabush got some of that. Some It was green. And he rolled it up into a ball. And he pulled the ball, ball apart. Now we had two. And he rolled them up nice and round. And he put it in his eyes, and he opened them, and guess what? He can see. He could see. His eyes were green. And so he was looking around now. He could see. And all of a sudden, he looked up way up on a pine tree, and guess what he saw? What? His eyeballs. His real eyeballs. And guess what his real eyeballs were doing? What? They were looking right back at him. Mm. Isn't that strange? Mm-hmm. So he threw a stick up way up into the tree to hit his eyeballs, to hit the branch. And he hit the branch. And all of a sudden his eyeballs come rolling down. And he took out the sap and he could see again. That's the story of Nanabush and the chickadees. Thank you. <laughs> yes.